Hello out there. Welcome to this tutorial on area and perimeter of composite plane shapes. This is part two of this video. We have this problem to solve. Calculate the area and perimeter of the shapes below. So we have the shapes in one, two, and three. So we start with problem one. Problem one, calculate the area and perimeter of the shape below. We need to analyze the shape. The shape is a composite shape comprising of a rectangle and two semicircles. The semicircles have the same diameter as 14 centimeters, and the diameter of the semicircle is the breadth of the rectangle, while the length of the rectangle is 20 centimeters. So to calculate the area of this shape, we are going to find the area of the rectangle and then add the area of the two semicircles. So we start with the area. Area of a rectangle is length times breadth. That's going to give us 20 times 14. Uh, taking care of the area of the rectangle, then we now look at the area of the two semicircles. The two semicircles, when joined together, form a circle. So we then find the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. And our r is 14 divided by 2. Because radius is diameter divided by 2. So we are going to have the area of the two semicircles as 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1. 7 goes with 7 to give us 1. 7 goes with 7 to give 1. So we are left to 22 times 7 here and 20 times 14. 20 times 14 will give us 280, then plus 154. Since 22 times 7 gives 154, we are adding the two areas. Since the shape is an attachment of two semicircles to a rectangle, on both sides of the breadth. Adding 280 and 154, we have 434 square centimeters as the area of the shape. So we have the area of the shape to be 434 square centimeters. We then go ahead to find the perimeter of the shape. To find the perimeter is to find the distance round the shape. It is not that you are going to find the perimeter of the rectangle, find the circumference of the two semicircles and add them. No. We start from one point, then move around and add the sides and the semicircles. So starting from here now, this is 20 centimeters. So we have 20 plus the semicircle. We are going to find the length of this semicircle, then plus this side again, which is 20, plus the other semicircle to give us the distance round the shape. So we add this 20 and this 20 to give us a 40. This semicircle and this semicircle, when added together, will give us a, a complete circle. We then find the circumference of the circle. So we are going to add the circumference of the circle, which is pi d. And our pi still remains 22 over 7. Our diameter here is 14. So multiply by 14 over 1. 7 goes into 7 gives 1. 7 goes into 14 gives 2. We then have 40 plus 44. 22 times 2 gives 44. 40 plus 44 gives 84 centimeters representing the perimeter of the shape and that's all for problem one we then go to problem two for problem two calculate the area and perimeter of the shape below um, this shape is a combination of two semicircles one larger than the other the larger semicircle has a radius of seven centimeters and the radius of that larger semicircle is the diameter of the smaller semicircle. So to calculate the area, this is a case of subtraction. We find the 
area of the entire semicircle then find the area of the small semicircle we find the difference so that we are going to have the radius of the large semicircle representing capital R to be 7 centimeters and since the diameter of the small semicircle is 7 the radius will be 3.5 7 divided by 2 this 3.5 can also be written as 3 and a half or 7 over 2 so that the area of the shape now is going to be area of any semicircle is half pi r squared since pi r square is the area of a circle so since it is a semicircle we multiply by half so that we now have our area of the large semicircle as half pi capital r squared minus half pi r squared small r substituting into this formula we have 1 over 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 over 1 times 7 over 1 since the capital R is 7, then minus 1 over 2 times 22 over 7, small r times 7 over 2 times 7 over 2. We informed you earlier that the radius of the small semicircle is 7 divided by 2. So simplifying here, 7 goes into 7, 1. 7 goes into 7 gives 1. 2 goes into 2, 1. 2 goes into 22 gives 11. So 11 times 7 is 77 minus 7 goes into 7, 1. 7 goes into this 7 gives 1. 2 goes into 2, 1. 2 goes into 22 gives 11. We are then left with 11 times 7. That's going to give us 77 over 4. We then simplify. To simplify this, we find the LCM to be 4. Uh, here is supposed to be written as 77 over 1. So we now have 4 times 77 to give us 308 minus 77. Since 4 divided by 4 gives 1, times 77 gives 77. 308 minus 77 gives 231 over 4. 4 goes into 23, 5 times remainder 3. In 31 is 7 times remainder 3. So that's going to give us 57 whole number 3 over 4. And that 3 over 4 can be written as decimal to be 0 0.75. So that 231 divided by 4 gives 57.75 square centimeters representing the area of this shape we then go ahead to calculate the perimeter we still remember that the perimeter of composite shape of this nature is a distance round the shape it's the calculation of the sum of the distance round the shape so here is going to give us a seven as from here to this place is seven centimeters plus the next is the circumference of this semicircle and circumference of any semicircle is half pi d so we have to get this that's going to give us half pi d small d then from here now to the starting point that is going to be plus half pi d capital letter d and that capital letter d is 14 centimeters so substituting, we have 7 plus 1 over 2 times 22 over 7. And our D, we said, is 7. From here to this place is 7 centimeters. Then plus half times 22 over 7 times 14 over 1. 7 plus 7. So simplifying this, I have a, this 7 goes with this 7. 2 here, 1, 2 goes in, 2, 22 gives 11. Uh, here, 7 here, 1, 7 here gives 2. 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, 1. We are left with 11 here, so we have 7 plus 11, and we are left with 22 here plus 22. This is 33 
plus 7 giving 40 centimeters as the perimeter of the shape. So that's all for problem 2. We then go to problem 3. For problem 3, we have um, another composite shape comprising of a square and four semicircles. And the sides of the square is the diameter of the semicircle. To calculate the area, now we are going to calculate the area of the square and then the area of the four semicircles, we add them together. Since the four semicircles are joined with the square. So we start with the area to be area of the square plus area of the four semicircles. Area of the square is L squared and our L is 14. So we have it as 14 times 14 plus um, here we have two semicircles forming one, two semicircles forming one. So in total we have two circles. So that we now find the area of one circle and multiply by two. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we have it as two times 22 over seven times seven over one times seven over one. So 7 goes into 7, 1. 7 goes into 7, 1. And we are left with 2 times 22 times 7 here. And for this, we have 14 times 14, giving us 196. Plus 2 times 22 gives 44. 44 times 7 gives 308. Adding them together, we have 504 squared centimeters representing the area of the shape so that we now go ahead to calculate the perimeter for the perimeter we are going to find distance around the shape again and starting from this point so we have the first semicircle then this the third semicircle and the fourth one which is going to form circumference of two semicircles so we know the formula for calculating the circumference of a circle to be pi d. So we now have it as 2 times 22 over 7 times d. Our d is 14 centimeters. So uh, here 7 here 1, 7 here gives 2. 2 times 22 gives 44. 44 times this 2 gives 88. So we have the perimeter to be 88 centimeters and that's all for the solution of problem 3 and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on area and perimeter of composite plane shapes and a lot more until we come your way again Goodbye.